I think Innsbruck is very interesting because of the fern. It's a, a dry and warm and gusty downslope winds in the lee of the mountain. And Innsbruck has three kinds of fern from the west, from the north and from the south. And the one from the south is the, the, the strongest because there we have the main alpine ridge. And if you have southwesterly flow or southerly flow, then there's a wave-like movement over the Alps. And then we have also a valley here to the Brenner Pass. Maybe some people know if they go to Italy, they cross the Brenner Pass. And it's a gap. So you have also a gap flow, and you have to flow over the mountain and through the gap, and it accelerates down this valley and here to Innsbruck. So we have the highest wind speeds in the area around Innsbruck, and we have about 45 days on average a year with uh, strong winds for several hours or days. Uh, 60 kilometers per hour can, can happen, and uh, a few days a year with more than 100 kilometers an hour. But over there, Batschakofel, it's our house mountain, we say. Uh, it has uh, an average three days a year with more than 150 kilometers per hour fern and a record of 216 kilometers per hour fern. And if you go up there and it's fern, it's really good, a strong fern, uh, it's almost funny because you don't stand vertically, it's, you stand like horizontal then up there. It's, uh, it's almost fun. <laughs> If you have experience with the fern forecast, it's it's okay to forecast it. It's a bit uh, uh, challenging to forecast the maximum wind speed. If it's 80, if it's 90, if it's 100 kilometers per hour. But to forecast the fern uh, as it comes, that, that it's okay. Because uh, you know which kind of flow has to be, which kind of st stability, uh, so that you know the ingredients. There's a general pattern of fern you can see in high resolution models. And there's model output statistics. Uh, that's, I would say, is the best information because they can handle the different patterns. And, and from statistics, uh, you can uh, say, well, maybe this today 100 kilometers per hour will be exceeded. It can be dangerous, of course, if you're, for example, on a mountain or for tourism. Uh, because cable, uh, cable cars have uh, limited speeds where they can be switched on. So uh, the, the different uh, skiing areas want to know if it's 80 kilometers or 100 kilometers. That's a huge difference. Yeah, if they are open or closed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you mentioned the south phone and the north phone, is that also so violent or is it less? Uh, it's uh, also violent but also a very limited area because uh, it's only, there's another gap here to the north, the Seefeld, Seefeld Plateau, we say, uh, and it comes over this plateau and, and down uh, to the Innsbruck area. Uh, it's less often and it's the strongest wind speeds come from the south, but it, it can be a strong wind also. Okay. And even from the west, uh, if you have very strong westerly flows, then there's also a mountain ridge, Arlberg, and over there also food can happen. It's an own circulation we have in the mountains, uh, valley wind system. We have, uh, during the day, uh, wind goes up the valley and in the evening and the night goes down the valley. And then we have this uh, cross circulation because uh, the south sides of the mountains are the sunny sides because the sun comes from here, and uh, the shadowy sides, they are, there it's colder. So there's a circulation across the, mount, uh, across the valley, and we have the thermal winds up here, uh, and uh, the clouds on one side, and maybe no clouds on the other side. So there's also a cross circulation like that, and like that, also very complicated. But altogether, it's not that strong. It's, not, uh, it's, it's a moderate wind, 
most of the time it's quite nice to have a bit of wind. Uh, but in average, the wind, for example, in Innsbruck is uh, three times less than Vienna. It's really windy. But is also a thermal wind an important factor in your forecast? Uh, it's important for the generation of thunderstorms. Because, you, uh, yeah, but, uh, a lot of thunderstorms are quite local and are produced by these thermal winds. And uh, you have to calculate is it, what the stability is like and the humidity along the mountain and in the air, uh, which uh, lead to those, those thunderstorms, very local thunderstorms. The, our local models uh, are capable of, of uh, producing uh, thunderstorms, but uh, not always the perfect place. So, uh, yeah, it's, it is almost unpredictable because it's mostly re uh, only on a few kilometers or even less than a kilometer a strong uh, thunderstorm and it can move to the left or move to the right. It's very hard to, pre to predict. Music